Here we are again, fighting the reactor core. I think part of my dialogue words were cut off. Anywho, let's shoot some targets, because that's how you beat it. I'm assuming. Yeah, it'd help if I didn't die. Okay. Oh. I, I, I saved when I was dying. That's not what I planned to do. But in any case, now we have some more health. Stage three? Oh, come on! No, 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 no. Jesus Christ on a biscuit. This is not acceptable. We're pausing, and then we'll get back to you when I get to the boss, and I am not more than one person. Ah, uh, it occurred to me that I have a rewind button, like, ten seconds after I stopped the video. So we're back here. Which really was of no consequence for me to get to. So, I'll, I'll save a state there. But yeah, apparently this game makes you redo the whole level if you, if you die. Or maybe at least this level. So that's really dumb. I should stop killing myself with death. Or whatever I'm doing. Jeez. There we go, now we have the center of this thing exposed, and we can shoot at it. No! Okay, so we're gonna have to beat this thing with very little health, as we have been doing. Perhaps. I am not at all entirely able to keep into perspective what's going on, but it exploded, so I think we're good. <coughs> Yay. This game is hard to judge perspective, etc. in. Victory music as the thing explodes in very Super Nintendo-esque pixelated explosions that are pretty cool looking. All ships, check in. Yeah. They say the same thing after every mission. I'm not sure what to think about that. Oh no, we're floating towards the giant meteor, which it might have been the next stage. I wasn't really checking. Ugh. This game is pretty hard. Like, in comparison to Star Fox 64. It's Meteo for the good of the world. Let's -a go. Maybe I should just finish the easy path today. That'd be kind of fun. Be sure to use your retros if you're going too fast. Be careful with my raw wings. Andros won't have his way with me. Anywho, this is Meteor. I, I, it's, it's a Meteor. Meteors have bird robot walkers on them. They're not, I don't know why they're birds, but that's what they struck me as when they first appeared in my peripheral vision. So that is what they will be called. In that one instance, shut up, Peppy. You're dumb. I don't like you sometimes. Yeah, they're a lot more annoying when they don't have awesome voices and quotes and stuff. Maybe I'm just crazy. Or maybe I just need words to fill the gaps in my other words. Well, I have like super extreme awesome lasers now. They're like, foof, whoosh, foof, wah, foof, foof, foof. So apparently the meteor is very rocky, which is unfortunate for any inhabitants of meteors, which you know, being portrayed as a negative rocky road stereotype, where that doesn't make any sense, but you can deal with it, I think. So, how to win Star Fox? Don't get hit, mash. Uh, what is this button? Like, like, uh... Yeah. The, 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 hmm. I think it's the Y button. Yeah, I should totally remember the Super Nintendo controller layouts, but I, I, I don't think about it that consciously. 
I just sort of meant know it, you know? I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ow. So... As everyone knows, glowing weak spots are the glowing weak spots of all enemies. If your weak spot isn't glowing, you probably have a defect and you should go see a manufacturer. Yay, I have super full health now. I got one! I got one! Says Peppy in his excited and enthusiastic voice. Yay, Peppy! You got two now! Don't get cocky, kid. So, we are moving forward. You know, I forget that I have the boost way too much. <laughs> okay, next time Slippy says help me, I'm, do I'm going to shoot him on purpose instead of on accident. <coughs> Actually, Peppy hasn't been the one... I mean, Slippy, I mean, Frog hasn't been the one with all the problems so far. Oh no, it's a walking spider thing. Let's shoot it until it dies. That'll surely win us the day. These bosses are like lame. Where's the weak spot? Everything has a weak point. Ow. It looks like it should be the bottom, but I don't think it is. Oh, it's the legs when you shoot him down, maybe. I don't know. He's not taking damage. It's a little awkward for everyone. Whoa, he's shooting streams of fire. At least it's not a ring of fire. And no one's falling into it. Ah, here we have his exposed weak Inzoskeleton. Which takes damage every time I shoot a ton of things at it, which would do any reasonable thing a ton of damage. So, that was the end of Asteroid, apparently populated by polygons, just like every other planet in the Lilat system. Yada yada yada. Yes, yes, I get it. Okay. <coughs> Venom, homeworld of Andros, etc. I don't think we can do it in three minutes, but we might as well start it and then do it in the next video. I'm just gonna finish the easy path. It's it's too easy to not do it. Andros is hiding on Venom, Fox. You must find his core brain and destroy it. Way to spoil the true form of Andros, you jerk. No, stop that. Stop it. Stop it, I say. Stop it. First person is for real life only. Shut up, Slippy. I know it's you, that's exactly why I'm shooting at you. Don't you figure that out yet? You're a frog of indeterminate gender that is officially male, but only because you bribed your birth certificate. Shut up. Uh, I think these are mines or something, but they could also just be, like, triangles. So, uh, just but it might as well shoot them just to be safe. You can't trust anything that's isosceles. Here we have space and a planet apparently just like every other thing in the game so um, that thing breaks into other things when you shoot it a lot and this thing just breaks when you shoot it so that's a good thing to keep in mind um, some of those things look kinda like power-ups but they're really just invisible things which you can shoot when they're not visible so basically it boils down to shoot everything here we have some bombs I think those might be useful in an upcoming boss battle. Hint, maybe. I don't know. They probably would have been useful in downcoming boss battles, too, but I didn't have any then, you see. So, um, I'm just sort of, like, rotating my control pad and shooting blindly, which apparently is where Slippy is steering. But then again, nobody cares about him ever. I seem to be stressing that point in these videos. P.S. Slippy sucks. There's a mine, there's a gold thing, I don't know what they mean, cause... Whatever, here's another one. I, I, I missed it even though I went through it. Even though I went through other ones that I missed. Cause you can't tell what the crap is going on in this 3D space simulation in the year 20XXXXX. 
Star Fox XX. But, yeah. So, apparently, Venom, you never actually go on the surface in this one or something. I don't know what that's about. Oh no, it's a thing. This is not Andros. But it's definitely having a health bar. So we're going to shoot it. Uh, bosses are very simple in this game compared to Star Fox 64, it would appear. To defeat them, you shoot them, as opposed to Star Fox 64, where to defeat them, you shoot them in specific areas while experiencing witty dialogue. Such as, uh, uh, DETACH THE REAR VEHICLE! Did I kill it? Wow, I did. I didn't even know what I was doing. Let's go! What is next? Oh no! And we have to stop here. Stop it!